Good afternoon everyone. I'd like to share with you this afternoon as a thought for the day a concept that I came across for the first time yesterday. I travelled to Belfast for the first time since the beginning of March for a meeting and on the way there and back I was listening to some talks by an author called Gary Chapman. He's most famous for his book The Five Love Languages but in a talk Essentials of a Healthy Marriage and also in another talk that, that I heard him give, he introduced another concept, and that was the five languages of apology. Here they are. The first one is to express regret, where you apologise to someone by saying, I'm really sorry that happened. The second is taking responsibility. You say to someone, what I did was wrong and I fully accept responsibility. And in the course of giving that talk, he got everyone to stand up and speak out the words together, I was wrong, because he has discovered in his counselling that these are words that stick in people's throats and it would be worth our while to stop and ask quite why it is that we find it so difficult to actually utter the words I was wrong and take responsibility. The third word beginning with R is restitution. This is where we say I'm really sorry. How can I make it up to you? What can I do to repay and make restitution for what I have failed to do or the consequences of what I did? The fourth word is repentance. And this is where we say, I'm sorry, and I really don't want this to happen again. What can we do together to prevent it happening again? Will you help me on this? I really want to change. This is where we recognize that what we may have done is a repeated behavior, and we need to get to the roots of it. And the fifth language of apology is requesting forgiveness where we humble ourselves in front of someone and say, I'm sorry I did this. Will you forgive me? Now Chapman points out that these different languages of apology, first of all, we will have learned different languages in the homes in which we grew up. And therefore we may use one of these in speaking to someone, but because they learned a different language, they may not feel that we have really apologised. So when we're apologising to someone, if we use one of these languages, the one that we feel is appropriate, we also then need to ask the other person if they really have heard an apology from us and feel that we have apologised. The second thing, of course, is that the language that is used depends on the nature of the offence and the gravity of the offence. We don't want to diminish it, nor do we want to make a mountain out of a molehill. But this simple concept of the five languages of apology I think is very helpful to us as we seek to uh, continually repair and restore and rebuild all our relationships in life and keep them healthy and keep them growing. If you have found this concept uh, interesting and helpful then I would encourage you just simply to go online, maybe go to YouTube and type in Gary Chapman, the five languages of apology, and hear him expound these ideas more fully. And I personally think that we could all greatly benefit from understanding more about these things. Hope this will help your relationships. And thanks for listening.